Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am doing some work with my Amazon product today, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm going to get some product shots done, and I also wanted to talk about product shots for Amazon FBA because they are probably the most important part of your Amazon listing. People buy by looks and what they see, and if you're product shots aren't that desirable, then chances are people are gonna pass up your product and go to your competitors. Um, backstory on my product shots, I actually got 3D renders made of my product, which I was gonna use as my product shots. I found someone off of Fiverr and I had them made, but I wasn't really happy. and I wasn't completely content with the quality and I think it is worth it to invest a little bit more and also to be a little more picky with your product shots just because they are so important. So I decided to scratch those product shots that I got and go ahead and get some new ones. So I'm going to a studio here in Austin called Suna. Suna creates product shots. Um, they can do it remotely. You can send them pictures of your product and then they can create them and send them back to you or you can go into a studio and they have three studio locations. One is here in Austin, the other two are in two different cities in the US. I'll write them here because I forgot where they are. I was looking around for a photographer and how to get product shots in the most affordable way and Suna was the most affordable way. It's about $39 per shot and about $97 per video. So I decided to go ahead and work with them and it was super easy to book my appointment and create the shot list and kind of creative direct what I want for my shoot. But I'm going to finish getting my stuff together and head over to the shoot and see you guys over there. I'm currently on my way to my shoot. I'm so excited to do this. I love photography and I love creative directing and doing all this stuff so it's super fun but I wanted to talk about a few things that you should be aware of when you are taking Amazon pictures for your products. Um, I do have props and I made sure that there are no labels of other brands on any of the props that I'm using. Um, this is important because you are advertising your own product and you're not advertising for other brands and there could also be some legal issues if you are using your pictures for advertising of your product and there are other brand labels in them so I think it's better to just try and steer clear of that. The outfit that I'm wearing and I am modeling in my shoot today, um, for those of you who don't know, I do model and I've done um, shoots for products before for other people's products and other brands so I decided it would be best if I just modeled in my own shoot because one, I don't have to pay a model to model in my shoot and two, I know what I'm doing and three, it can kind of create a face with my product because I do want to build out my brand and I want to be part of it. So I'm going to be in my shoot and I'm just wearing a plain white t-shirt and blue jeans. I wanted to dress super simple so I don't draw attention away from my product, but also I wanted to dress in colors that complemented my product. My product is clear and it has blue and I think the color scheme that I'm going to use for my product is going to be like blues whites, grays, and colors like that. So I thought that would be a good color scheme. I'll see you guys um, at Suna in a couple minutes. I made it to Suna. I was like five minutes late, so I only have 50 minutes to get my product shots in. This is Anastasia. Anastasia? Yeah. She is doing my shoots right now and we're just doing plain shoots right now with a white background to start. I have all of my props here. I think we'll do some shoots with, with some props inside and then to show my product in action in the suitcase and all of that. And then I think I'm gonna book another shoot to come back and do a video for my product to show how it can be used, how I pack it, and then how I pack it in my suitcase. Now we are doing a shot on the bed. We made a little bathroom setup before over there, which you can kind of still see. And this is the shot to show how 
the Clear Sky toiletry bag can be packed. So it is a quart size bag, TSA approved, that can be packed into carry-on luggage easily and you don't have to take any of your stuff out when you go through airport security because it is clear. So we're going to do some shots over here and I think this is our last shot. So let's get to it. I just wrapped my shoot here at Suna. It went super well. It was honestly so fast. I got here at like 11.07. I was late for my shoot and I finished at 11.55. They give you an hour for shooting. I walked in and Anastasia was all ready to go. She knew what my product was and all of the expectations I had for shots and everything. So we immediately just went in and started doing the shots. I was able to gauge the shoot and look at the pictures that she was taking in real time on an iPad and then favorite the ones that I like. Say if we were ready to move on to the next shot and whatnot. They provided some props um, for like a bathroom setup and things and then I brought my own as well. But when you sign up for your shoot, you get to do a shot, a set list. I think it's called a shot list of all your expectations, a mood board. I made a little mood board. I put in some pictures um, that I wanted to model my shots after. So it went really smooth, so freaking easy. Like I was really nervous about these product shots, but I'm so happy with how they turned out. I didn't even get my final ones yet, but what we shot, I like really like how they turned out. So now the next step would be for me to log into my account, go through all the shots and then choose my favorite ones and each shot that I choose is $39 and then they'll do basic editing and then they'll send me the shots and this all happens in 24 hours. So if you need fast product shots, Suna is a super great way and you can also do it remotely. Of course, you can send in your product. I don't know exactly how it works remotely, but I think you can send in your product or send in pictures of your product. Yeah, super simple, super fast, um, very professional and I have my product shots, so that's great. And I want to talk more about product shots also because this is such a vital part of your Amazon listing. I'm going to give you some more information on that, but I'm going to move out of here because it's so freaking hot in my car and I need to go. I'm back in my house and I am doing some more work on my Amazon product photos. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this and mention some things that you should really consider when you are getting your Amazon product photos because they are such a crucial part of your listing, uh, if not the most crucial part. So there are three things that I want to talk about right now. And these are things that I considered while I was doing my Amazon photos and while I'm doing them right now. So number one is you want to show your product with a plain white background and you want to make sure your product is big enough so that way when your customer or your potential customer is looking through your listing, they can see your product very clearly. They can see the features. Um, they're not having to strain their eyes because if a product listing or a product photo is too small, uh, maybe it won't look as appealing to the customer. So you want to make sure it's a good size. Another thing that I really wanted to make sure that was clear with my pictures is that you can see how my product would be used and my product in real life. And I think this is so important because you want your customers to imagine themselves using this product, where it would fit into their life. Because for example, Steve Jobs with Apple, he didn't create a product to replace another one. He created a product that would aid in people's lives to make their lives easier without them even knowing that they needed this product yet with Macintosh. And so with your product, you want to show how this product is going to fit into your customer's life in a way where they don't know how they lived without it before. So in my case, I did some lifestyle shots. I kind of showed how I would pack it, um, the different features of it. Another thing that I did that I wanted to make clear are the features that I am proud of, of my product that might be better than other people's products or other sellers products. I wanted to do a close up of that and show how my product is set apart from theirs. Sometimes it isn't great to have too much text in your product photos because it can become cluttered, it can become confusing and maybe not as appealing. So if you are gonna add text, um, try and make it a limited amount with maybe a few keywords or one keyword that um, gives a message along with the picture or what you're showing in the picture. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I might Photoshop it into my picture through Canva or some sort of software like that. I love Canva. I use it for everything. You can use it for so many things, um, for Photoshop, um, creating listings, 
and then also for product details or inserts with your product and things like that. But I can talk about Canva more and other ways that I use it for Amazon in a different video. If you have questions, leave me them down below and I'll add into it there. But I just wanted to add these different things and also talk a little bit about why I went to Suna and got product shots professionally done instead of doing them myself because you are investing a lot in your Amazon listing. You're investing a lot of your time, probably your money, a lot of learning and whatnot. So why not invest a little bit more and make sure this crucial aspect of your listing is done professionally and as good as it can be because you don't want to take risks unless you are very knowledgeable in photography. Right now, I've already chosen my product shots and I'm just going to do a little bit of Photoshop in Canva to maybe adjust the lighting, to maybe add a little bit of text to show what the details are. And then I'm going to add them to my listing. I chose about five shots from my shoot. I might go back and choose some more and do some A-B testing, maybe choose some shots that I think are good. Try them out on my listing for a little while, maybe a week or so, see how they perform, and then maybe try out some other shots that might also perform well and see which ones are drawing more customers in and converting to more sales because you never know, you wanna get second opinions, maybe ask your friend, maybe ask a family member, someone who works in marketing, or just a potential customer, ask them what picture do you prefer, like what would make you buy this product because you know, you have um, your own opinion, but that might not be how everyone else thinks. So it's very important to get other opinions and not be alone in this whole process. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I hope all this was very helpful. And if you have any questions on product shots, Amazon listings, whatever it is, leave them for me down below. I think I'm gonna close out this video because I just wanted to share more about my product shots, the process, vlog a little bit of how I got my product shots. Um, I was really happy with my experience at Suna. I'm really happy with the product shots. I'm excited to finally get my listing up and to launch my product. Once it's launched, I'm going to let you guys know and I will have everything in the description below. Follow me on Instagram because I keep up with more things over there. And of course, I wanna let you know, I do use Helium 10 for all of my product research, keyword research, um, Amazon FBA research on competitors and everything like that. I have a code for you guys. I believe it's Natasha20, but I will, I will write it right here and I will have the link and the code down below in the bottom in the description in case you guys want to use it for a discount on your Helium 10 subscription. It, without Helium 10, I would not have been able to find my product, the keywords and all of that. So make sure you check them out as well. And I have other videos on how I do keyword research and product research and all of that. So I'll have those linked down below as well. And I'm going to be making more videos and tutorials of how I use Helium 10 because it can be kind of complicated, but I wanna be a resource to you guys with this journey because I know it can be up and down. It can be quite daunting at times. I know I've been there, so I wanna be helpful for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and staying until the end. Um, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.